Hello, I want to suggest something. Um, when you start learning English, you should listen to a lot of English. Listen, listen, listen. Sometimes you shouldn't even know how to spell the word, like native speakers. Because so you don't have to face two things at the same time. You first fix your understanding and pronunciation. So there is no interference between the spelling and the pronunciation. You know how to pronounce something because you've been listening to it several to it several times and okay, it's part of you. Then you learn the rules. The sound E can be spelled as a rule. Double E most of the times is pronounced E only at the end of a word with R is pronounced ear. O E E A. E A can be the spelling of the sound E or of the sound A, like in head. At the end of a word it can be pronounced ear, like in ear or air as in bear and so on and so forth so you start from the pronunciation and you then you move on to how to spell that is the way things go even for native speakers but when you've been uh, learning English for four five years I don't say that during these four or five years you never read English, but when you are on a quite high level, at that level you should read. Why so? Because now your ability to read English without mispronouncing it is good even um, because all these sounds are well steady in you but there are two things that you can get through reading English first all new words that you bump into you come across out there you can actually see them and you can actually pay attention to them new words words in a context you can ask yourself okay i know this word but this what is the the meaning in this context maybe it, ha it has a different meaning that i don't know of oh okay i don't really know this word you underscore underline the word you look it up look it up in a dictionary um, and then as I say you write even um, on the same page you write the meaning so this is the first thing second thing usually books as a rule have a different language a language that is not spoken on the streets maybe you already know that language and you want to move on to the next level and the only thing that can move you on to the next level is reading you can also watch some debates and discussions but reading is more productive, cost effective, okay? Value for money. You buy a book, I recommend buying books. The actual fact that put of possessing, possessing, so a book that you paid for. makes you read it for real third thing reading 
is much faster than listening. We read at a speed four times on average four times faster than listening. So you are exposed to a lot, a lot of language, okay? I don't say you quit listening, okay? Listening is the bolts and nuts, the bread and butter of learning a language. It's like when we run, I run. Medium speed running is the base, okay? It's what you gotta do as a rule. But now and then you need to add some meat, something more juicy. That is reading. Reading is the high level. You need to read. Second thing, read something that you like. So you get two birds with a stone. Here in Italy, if you live in a big town, there are bookstores or bookshops where you can find books or you can order online. If you work on the book, try to find a book with a lot of space beside. So you can take notes. You should be able to take notes. So if the explanation is too long, the meaning, just write the, the core, okay? Uh, you, you need to use thin pants with, with a thin point and also the kind of paper is important um, gross paper is not good as um, um, what is the right word for English uh, anyway um, another thing is um, so buy books that interest you read them underscore words that you would like to learn or to know more about them in the books on the books if you can um, and that's it you can also take a second step. If it's an important book, a classical book, not too old because the language is different, it's quite different. Except, for example, you read The Lord of the Rings, which is a big achievement in itself. You can say, oh, I've read The Lord of the Rings in English. Find it online if you want, and then listen to it online here on YouTube. But first you read it and let's see if you can recognize the words you uh, you've just learned when you listen to it okay bye